Today I have begun the process to require the Chief Constable, Nick Gargan, to resign from his post due to a lack of confidence by local people, police officers and staff in his position to lead Avon and Somerset Constabulary. It follows an independent misconduct panel finding Mr Gargan guilty of eight counts of misconduct and recommending the highest sanction available of eight final written warnings. This morning, in a sanction hearing with Mr Gargan, I gave him his eight final written warnings. He abused his position by forwarding confidential emails, interfering with a proper recruitment process and sending, receiving and storing intimate images on his police issue phone. In a separate meeting held after the sanction hearing, I told him of my plans to progress section 38, requiring him to resign from his post. Nick Gargan has let down the colleagues he led and the communities he was there to protect. And on this basis, from what I have seen and heard, he has lost the confidence of local people, police officers and staff. Over the last six weeks, since the panel's findings, concerns have been raised to me by the Chief Officer Group, Superintendents Association, Police Federation and Unison about Nick Gargan continuing to lead the Avon and Somerset Constabulary. As the Chief Constable, Nick Gargan should have led by example and demonstrated the highest levels of integrity, values and professional behaviour. Since the independent misconduct hearing, many people have shared with me their concerns in the Chief Constable returning to work. I believe that there is now a detrimental impact on the efficiency and effectiveness of him leading Avon and Somerset Constabulary, which is why I have today initiated the process to require him to resign. This is a separate process from the misconduct procedure. I will now write to Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Constabulary, Sir Tom Windsor, initiating the process by seeking his views. Thank you.